how to count how many times a cell has been changed in Microsoft Excel hello everyone welcome to Excel 10 tutorial in this advanced Excel tutorial I'm going to show you an excellent way to count cell changes in Excel okay take a look at this blank worksheet I want to count how many times cell a1 let's mark it cell a1 has changed and I want to display the result in cell c1 okay there are several things to consider First of all, if you close the workbook and reopen it, the count will reset. Secondly, it doesn't matter if you have a formula in cell A1 or you are manually inputting value in cell A1, it will always count the changes and display in cell C1. With that saying, let's get started. <laughs> we are going to right click on the sheet 1 which is our worksheet name and then click on view code then we are going to add this code remember this code will be linked in the description please check it and copy it from there if you need first we have created a variable here change count which is integer and then we have added private sub worksheet change so here we are going to run the code each time the worksheet is changed now in here we are going to check if the changes is done in cell a1 which is our target cell here and if so we will add plus one to our change count variable which we have created at the beginning of our code okay so if our worksheet changes, this code will start and then if the cell a1 has changed then we will add plus one and save that value in our variable okay now once we have added the variable then we are going to change the value in cell c1 and paste our variable result okay and then we are going to stop the event which event the worksheet change event because if we don't change it our code will run each time a cell is changed and it will become an infinite loop which we don't want okay now here we are checking all the cell dependent of cell a1 so if you have a formula in cell a1 it will still work once we have checked it and we have updated the value in cell c1 using our change count variable we are going to re-enable the event here now if you have formula in cell a1 you will need this part otherwise you won't need it suppose we have value in cell b1 and b2 and we have a formula in cell a1 summing the two value which is b1 and b2 so in this situation if i change a value in cell b1 it will automatically change the value of cell a1 because cell a1 has a formula so if you have formula in cell a1 then you will need the code here we will run if the worksheet is calculating so whenever you have a formula it will automatically calculate and whenever a formula is calculating we will also add a value to our variable and it will display the result also okay so we have the code prepared if we close it and let's say i want to write here one and click anywhere in our worksheet or press enter you can see in cell c1 we have one okay so this is the changes so whenever i change this cell our count is automatically increasing by one okay so how many time we have changed this cell seven times now let's say like i said we have value in cell b1 and b2 i have changed this but cell c1 value isn't changing okay let's write here a formula and we have our formula result here and the changes are still counting let's change the value of cell b2 if i click anywhere our formula result in cell a1 changes along with the change count in cell c1 okay so this is how you can count how many time a cell changes in microsoft excel using vba if you think this video is helpful please like the video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you can support the channel through patreon or super chat thank you thanks for watching